This 3D printer right here is the Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo, and this, which you might recognize, is the Bamboo Lab P1S. If they look similar, well, that's intentional. The Cobra S1 Combo is designed to look and function like the Bamboo P1. It's not a knockoff per se, it's more like the way that every traditional 3D printer looks almost identical. You have a gantry, you have a print head, you have a moving plate. A couple years ago, Bamboo hit on a core XY design that's incredibly functional, and the other manufacturers have started to make the same type of designs. I'm going to give you my thoughts and compare the two printers to each other, but I'm also going to give you something you might find more important, which is overall head-to-head -head speed tests. The Anycubic S1 Combo is a printer that's aimed directly at Bamboo Lab, and not just the printer, the whole ecosystem that Bamboo has created. In some ways, Anycubic have really accomplished their goal, and in other ways, they haven't quite yet. One significant area in which Anycubic has clearly targeted Bamboo is with the price. The Anycubic S1 Combo is $200 cheaper than the Bamboo P1S Combo. Okay, so first let's talk about the multi-material system, because it's an area where Anycubic has actually gotten a better solution than Bamboo. Let me talk for a quick second about what a multi-material system does, and then give you an example of that. If you'd like to get a full lowdown on everything you can do with a multi-material system, I have a link to that down in the description. That was originally about the Bamboo AMS system, but now it applies to the ACE Pro system as well. A lot of people call the multi-material system a multi-color system, and you can put multiple colors of filaments in there, and I do, and that's my main use. But you can also put different types of filament in there. Now, when it comes to multi-color or multi-filament, the Bamboo AMS system is more mature and better integrated. A single AMS unit handles four colors, but you can stack up to four of them on the same printer for 16 rolls of filament. But you can only use two of the ACE Pro systems. Here's where the S1 combo pulls ahead in a surprising way. Its multi-filament system, the AC Pro, includes an active filament dryer. That means that when you're printing with one of the spools, all of them are being dried in real time. It's not just a dry box like the AMS system that keeps moisture out, it's actively managing humidity inside the box. Hydrophilic materials are things that like to absorb water. TPU does that, nylon does that. Having dry filament for those is a necessity. And having a dryer box built into your printer can make a huge difference in print quality. Bamboo's AMS system has some moisture protection. It keeps the moisture out, and it's got packs of desiccant that suck up some of the moisture, but it is a passive setup. It is not the same thing as drying while you're printing. So if you've got new filament or wet filament, you want to use a filament dryer to get it ready to print. And so with the AMS system, you need to get a separate filament dryer. The AC Pro instead has a heater and a fan built into the case, so it can not only keep your filament dry, it dries while it prints. The material support is really pretty much the same on both of them. They can print the same types of filaments. The S1 combo goes up to 320 degrees Celsius on the hot end and 120 Celsius on the bed, so you have a lot of room to experiment with different exotic filaments there. Both of the printer systems feature really reliable auto bed leveling. And in fact, that was one of the big things about Bamboo originally, is that you didn't have to level your printer every single time you were going to go start a print. They both have resonance calibration, but the S1 combo can do flow calibration, which the P1S cannot do. So both the A1 and the A1 Mini can do flow calibration, but not the P1S, and so that's another area where the Anycubic system outpaces the P1S. Another thing I really like on the S1 combo over the P1S is the big color touchscreen. Bamboo's A1 series and their X1 series have a nice touchscreen, but the P1S uses an older and very annoying monochrome LCD screen that's controlled with rocker buttons instead of touch, and I hate it. The P1P has a monochrome camera to monitor the prints and do time lapse, but it is really terrible. The S1C also has a camera, but it's a full color, higher resolution camera, and it makes much better time lapse videos like this. The S1C also has the advantage of a built in spaghetti detection system that looks for prints that have run away and have just spooled filament into the print enclosure, and then it stops those prints. Right before I get to that, if you like these honest real world reviews, please, well, you know what to do. Hit all the buttons below, and then text everybody you know and ask them to like and subscribe as well. Both of the multi-filament systems use an RFID tag reader to auto-configure the slot if you're using the company's own filament. With a setup, you just drop in a spool into the machine and it automatically knows the color and it knows the filament type and the ideal print settings. Both of the printers offer Wi-Fi connectivity and power loss recovery. I have seen that the power loss recovery on the Bamboo seems to be better than that on the S1 Combo. One of the times I had power loss, the S1 Combo picked right up and started to print again, but the print was really falling apart when it did that. Both of them offer both LAN-based and cloud-based printing, so you can start and monitor your prints from anywhere using the mobile apps or the web interface. But when it comes to slicing, both of them have apps in their own slicer. They both have a desktop app and a mobile app. 
The Anycubic Slicer is based on Orca, which is partially based on Bamboo Slicer, so they all look pretty much the same. I really think that the Slicer for Anycubic needs some work. Preparing prints and slicing them is identical to Bamboo and Orca, but then if you switch to the Workshop, which is the place that you manage the printer and the material system, most of the text is still in Mandarin. Now, if you speak Mandarin, not a problem. I don't speak Mandarin, unfortunately. So I spend a lot of time with my phone taking pictures of everything and translating it from Chinese into English so I know what to do. Both Anycubic and Bamboo offer an online experience for finding and downloading prints that are already pre-sliced for the specific printer. They both have a ton of models. Both of them seem to have a lot of the same models on them. The Anycubic one doesn't have as many things already configured for the S1 because it's a newer printer, whereas with the tool from Bamboo, almost all the prints are ready and available to print directly on the P1S. So obviously a key thing is how well does it print. So far I haven't had any failed prints that weren't user error. So to test this I set up the same print on both printers and I sliced it with identical settings. I let both of the machines run through their really extensive pre-print calibrations and then I pause them when they're ready to start printing. Okay so the P1S took about six minutes to do its calibration, the S1C took about 14. Again the S1C was calibrating more things than the P1. When they had both finished their calibration and were ready to start doing the first layer, I reset the clock and then started both of the printers. The slicer had showed that the S1 print would be a few minutes faster than the P1S, but that's not what happened. The Bamboo P1 finished in 1 hour and 50 minutes, and the S1 finished in 2 hours and 4 minutes. If my math is right, and tell me in the comments if it's not, on a 24 hour print that could be an extra like 2 hours. Still, they're both incredibly fast printers. You can set both of them to print in even faster modes, and the few minutes of extra time wouldn't bother you if you didn't know the difference, right? And it also might not bother you if you know that the Anycubic S1 is $200 cheaper. All right, so which one of them should you buy? It looks like the Anycubic system is only $200 cheaper, but since the filament system is also a filament dryer that can do four rolls at a time, you're looking at a savings over getting filament dryers. So there's single spool dryers from like $20 to $40 on Amazon. You can get a two spool dryer for like $60 or $80. That's not a lot. But you also can't print while drying with those setups. And so you've got the built-in dryer saving you maybe $120 if you were going to get four separate dryers. That could be a lot of money. If you're a big print farm and you need to never run out of material, obviously the ability to chain four of the multi-material systems together instead of two is a big deal. I think that the S1C has some really great improvements out of the box over the P1S. The screen is better, the camera is so much better, and it's got that AI spaghetti detection. That can save me a couple hour failed print it's going to be worth its money. The drawback, at least for now, is overall speed. With the 600 mm per second rating of the S1C, it should be able to not only keep up with the bamboo, but to go a little bit faster. Right now it does not. That is again something I think is going to be able to be tweaked in firmware because it looks to me like the hardware is able to keep up with the speed with no problem. If you're comparing strictly on ecosystem, Bamboo still has the advantage. It's had longer to make its ecosystem, there's more prints available and their tools online, more time to get software updates. If you want more flexibility, fast print speeds, and the added benefit of actively drying your filaments during prints, the S1 combo has a really compelling feature set especially at that lower price point. Do you have a multi-material system right now? Do you have the Bamboo P1 or maybe the Bamboo A1 and you're looking for something else? Also, let me know what kinds of things that you're printing in multi-filament setups or what you want to print if you have one of these systems. Again, my video about the things that an AMS or an ACE Pro system can do are in the description below, as well as links to purchase the printer. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss, and as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.